All right, Rabbi Say. Lachaim, Lachaim. Lachaim. Yes. Person Bechvod Hashem Sarn, really want to thank the Sarn uh, Mishpacha for, uh, for hosting us. You know, the. Uh, so. Right. So, Chazal promised us Hatarach Hoseret Alachsan Mishalom. Right, so if you know, the, uh, it's already the second time, it's already the second time that the Sidemans have hosted a Lag Bomer, you know, Suda. Right, and not only that, it's the second time also that Yoni brought, right, rib steaks. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. The, right, the, uh, right, and the, the two are connected, right? Uh, you know, right, the two are connected. A bias and, and the and seller. Because based on Zuishto, but even a right, right, right. And that the bo- you need both of them to be a base, right, right. Because a house without food is Nishkin bias, right? Just, uh, right, right. You need both of them to have a basis, right, a base. So uh, that's uh, so. But even a you need the house to have it at, and you need the rib steaks, and together, right, right, right. And that's and, and that's the clea. That's the clea. And the clear is supposed to hold the wine, the yain. That's what I want to thank you all for bringing the Dunbar. No, right? Yes. Right? 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 Anyway, there's a uh, unbelievable steer on Kisve Ari, Lagabe, Lagba Omer. In the, um, in the, in the Kavonis, all right, so, uh, you know, and we'll talk about what, what they have in common in just a few seconds. But talking about the end of Rajbi on Lag Boimer. Someone taping, by the way? Yes, I'm taping. All right. Okay. So, Lagabe, the. Um, you know, well, what does Rajbi have to do with Lag Boimer? You know, on that day, both in Klali, you know, the Tamil Kiva stopped dying. For reasons that we're going to explain, we'll bring from the Kisve Ari and we'll try to uh, decipher it. So uh, it says over here in the um, in the Kavonis that the Ubefraki Rajbi who Michamisha Talmid of Hagdon is from the five Talmidim Rabbi Seir Shabbatorim that endured that you know uh, that are the ones that you know uh, that they're part of the Simcha of they're, they're stopped dying he's from the ones that survived Lachain Zman Simchas of Yom Lag Baomer Fi Mashe Biyarnu Leo Biinyan Yom Lag Baomer. Because Yom Lag, which we discussed, you know, where, where the Misa stopped for reasons. Uh, so he's from those that uh, you know uh, survived, and that's why Lag Baomer. Right. So Chamish Tami Agdolin. Right. So because you know the, the as a word, and Rabbi Akiva had two phases in life. He had Tamidim Ketanim, and the ones those are the ones who died. And the Tamidim Gedolim, he saw Tamidim Gedolim, and Lag Bomer was the cutoff point. You know where uh, where they stopped dying. You know, the Pshatas that was started the era of the Tamidim Gedolim, of which Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai was one of them. That's what he writes in the Kavonis. In the Pre Eitz you know another Nusach of Kavonis of the Ari. Because they were all dead, right? Well, no, because no, no one further died. No, 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 so as we're going to... people actually In spite of the fact that 24, he started the next day, he started again. Mamash in the lower the right. You know that Robert Kibbe was the one who never... Always was not... That is dangerous. Kedai Rib Shimon is smoked up with shas and chak. Right? As I was saying, so you could be so much on Rib Shimon, the calories can't hurt you on this day. Right? Anyway, but that's you know, I, I want to talk about that. We'll, we will ask, a, answer that kasha of how you know Lag Bomber brings in a new era that facilitates the Talmidim Gedolim. But look away in the pre eight Chaim, which is another version of the of Kavonis of the Ari. He says like this, that the Vatam Shemes Rajbi 
ביום ל"ג בעומר, כי הוא מתאמן אל עקיבא שמסו בספירה סוימה. מה יש לבקר? אפילו אם זה יכול להיות שנים אחר כך, אבל הוא היה צריך להתאמן during ימי הספירה, הוא מתאמן אל רבי עקיבא שמסו בספירה סוימה. Uh, but of course, you know, the uh, aside from... He died in the same time. Who forgot? He died later. He died later, but he, said he had to die. He had to die in the Yemea Omer. That's the time. Not so later. So what the steer is, how, how is he called Tamidah Gedolim in this one? Tanim, or...? Yeah, so, yeah, it's like Kilo, he's, he's, he's Bechlal, the Tamidim that were Mesu, you know, even though... No, there are, there are Midrashim that say it didn't happen all in one year. But Parakechot means it happened seasonally every year. Oh. I mean, there, there are, you know, there are those who say that, and that's what he seems to be saying. The Ari seems to be saying that, that that was the, you know, during that time of year, it was a bad time. You know, the Mashal Ma Dover Doima, by the Mesei Midbar, right, they had to dig their Kvarim every year on Tisha B'Av, right, Dan? And Simchav Tubav, first they didn't realize that they, they thought maybe they were Toa until the moon was full, and that's the Simchav Tubav. Right, it, it died every year on Tisha B'Av. On Tisha B'Av, they had to dig their Kvarim. Lefi, what's written over here in the Priya time, you know, on uh, uh, Omer was, you know, the time they knew their toast during this Tkufa, and it caught up to Rajbi. It caught up to him, eventually. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's other Kisveri. And that's the first Lashon that we read. It's a stira, but yeah, I said, you know, he died be me Omer because he's bechlal tamini rabbi akiva shemesu. No, no, but that, that's the oh, first oh, version. No, 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 no. Okay, but in pre Chaim, Shtet Mufurish, he died, and why? Because tamini rabbi akiva died during me Omer. But it's a, it's a stira. First, he says he's bechlal the tamini magdon the rabbi sent shabadaram, right? That we're in this kaim, and it's and it, and. Lag Bum is Yom Simchaso, like Hashi pointed out. Not Lav Vafkani died there. It's Yom Simchaso, because it's going to explain, like there was a shift in the Hanhaga that facilitated the next, you know, the next uh, set of Talmidim. Talmidim that, yeah. But in Pri Chaim says he died on Lag Bomer because uh, he's. Uh, Talmid Rukiva died during Yemei Omer. Right? Uh, so, uh, but, but, you know, so uh, he goofa. So what, what's the Simcha? Because in the same place over here. In Pri Chaim, it also brings the same thing as written Kabbalas that the Ari went and it was the Yom Simcha, and uh, one guy, Rabbi Avraham Alevi, said Nachem, you know, and, and, uh, and the Ari walked over to him and said, Roshim Baichai told me that because he said Nachem on the day of his Simcha, you're going to need Nechama soon, and his son died. You know, it's, uh, it's pretty, stayed in Pri Chaim just the same way. Right? Right? So, what's the shot? Now we're going to be Miyash of the Stira in the Kisrei Ari. No, but also the 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 feed the derech of the pre eight time that he's bechlal tamidu rabbi kiva shemesu b'yemei oimer right so you know what's the simcha right? But like my they stopped dying I thought he died on like my mother. Ooh, just give it a kiss of coffee. Okay, good to see. Right. Now we only got past the first kasha. Yes. <laughs> yeah. it's good stuff yeah, the covered rajbi the covered rajbi eat something oh, yeah. yeah there you go yeah the last word rajbi said in the idra the last word he said the last words that came out of his mouth was chaim lechaim or chaim chaim he said chaim chaim All right. All right, we'll talk about that. Right. All right. Yoni brought the uh, stage. Anyway, the um, anyway. So, 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 so to understand uh, before we to understand the uh, before uh, we uh, we resolve this theory in Kisvei Ari that Mar Mar Chod of Mar Mar Chod of Lo Pligi, whether Rashbi was from the Tamid Rukiva Shemesu Bimei Oimer. Right, that's why his yard says like Bomer, or whether it's his fakir, it's his Yom HaSimcha, because he's from the Talmidim that didn't die. Right? Yeah, that was the kasha we had. Right, to understand you know, the, uh, the kesher that there is you know, between the uh, Yemei Omer and Talmidim Rabbi Akiva, uh, generally speaking, right, that Akkad Baruch Hu, you know, closed the accounts with them, he audited them during the Yemei Omer, that he took them to task. Al-Shalom Nagu Kavad Zelazet. Right, you know, 
what is the Indian of the Yemea Umar and, and it has to do with Rabbi Akiva? Uh, you see, it's something about Yemea Umar. There wasn't germane dafka to the door that came out of Mitzrayim. Like the Midrash would say, they, 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 asked Hakar, they asked Moshe Rabbeinu, when are we going to get this Torah thing? And they started counting. You see, we, we count Svira every single day, and uh, the Yemea Omer, you know, by the days of Rabbi Akiva, is a whole thousand years after Matan Torah. Right. So, you know, to understand this, you know, we have to understand, you know, what, what it says elsewhere in Kisferi. I mean, it's not, it doesn't say black and white, but the... Uh, the uh, the Svar Maktoshim derived that the Ari seems to hold that if a person is Nizher in how in all his actions during Yemea Omer, he has nothing to worry about by the din of Rosh Hashanah. Right? His, you know, his life is ensured that if he knows he didn't do a chet during Yemea Omer, right? His life for that year is guaranteed. Right? right? And that, 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 that is the, uh, derived, right? So, uh, and uh, they say that the Iker Makor for this is really from the Sefer Chemda Sayyamim. Sefer HaKadosh Van Neur. Right? Sefer Chemda Sayyamim. Right? That the, uh, uh, that the, uh, you know, that the, uh, and he says over there, like this, right? <laughs> that the seven weeks of the Omer is a, uh, is a uh, microcosm of, you know, pers- first of all, a person's life, that an average lifespan Biblically, is Yemesha seven and Shivim Shana, so seven weeks connected to seventy years of a person's life, and that in the macro is Shita of a Shnin Have Alma the Chad Choruf. Right, Olam has six thousand years of activity, and the seventh millennium everything is laid desolate, and then Ulsof El of Shar Koshu Chozer Mechadish Olama. Right, but that that begins Olam Abba, the eighth millennium. Right, Olam has is. You know, is uh, 6,000 years of activity, Chad Chorov, and it's connected to six days of the week, and Yom HaShavas, where everything ceases. It's connected to Chad Chorov. Everything stops. The seventh millennium is not connected to Olam Abba, it's the eighth millennium? It's the eighth millennium. So why does Yom Shakul HaShavas should be the seventh millennium? No, but uh, that's what it means. You know, it means from the seventh and beyond. You know, Hemsh, because everything in Olam Azeh has stopped. It's not, it's not going to resume in the eighth. It doesn't resume. Oh, you don't go back to work in the eighth. Right? Right? <laughs> right. Yeah, it's over. Right? And that never happens again. Never happens again. Well, that's right. Before 6,000. Before 7,000, that's laid uh, between 6 uh, yeah, and yeah, In the seventh millennium, in the seventh millennium, it's, you know, it's, uh, everything's laid desolate. We're now in the sixth millennium. It's pretty far into the sixth millennium. Yeah. Okay. So they say, if you look at some of the times, it's supposed to be in the next 32 years or something. What? Why? I mean, how have I? But the time, the time frame. I don't, I don't myself know right now, but I've read it where it's supposed to be sometime in the next. What? Time is off, right? So it's either 32 or all of the. Oh, no. The Baron was in the Mara with the. Well, what the. What the. What the. What the. What was it? Oh, yeah, Mara and I. No, no, no. The historiography doesn't work out. Yeah. 32 or 20. Yeah, okay. You have to have 11 Persian kings in two years. Haya Yafel lo Hashtika. You know, whatever. Wasn't he. Wasn't he close to that? He was close to that. Yeah, whatever. No, he was close to that. He was forced. Yeah. 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 Anyway, anyway, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the Rossi, the Rossi. I say the Rossi, the Yeah, Maral says, you know, Maral told him to get. Yeah, yeah, the whole barrel calls. Can I get that? I don't worry not. It's there. Mechan. All right, so, the verse, so let's say, imagine what would have been if Amisha wouldn't have been Chotei Ba'egel. So they go through the seven days of the Omer, right? And then Yisrael Shomdu Ar Sinai Paschal Zumasam, because the end of the seven weeks of the Omer, as you know, is 
stayed in Kisve Ari, is mamish to be metaken, the seven meters that broke. Okay, it was a shvir sakelim. Everything, all the tikkunim that were struggling, were struggling to do right, do right, and were struggling against evil. Right? Because you know, where did evil come from? Akash Hashem is not, does not uh, do evil. But the pas says Yotzer or Varachoshek Ose Shom Ubore Ra. It's not Ose Ra, but it's Bore Ra. Right. So, so, so as you know, say that's in Zoya already. But there is Mefarish. The Akash was Bona Olamas. Like Medrash Rab also says Bona Olamasu Machrivan. No, the 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 Ra is because this world is built out of Shivrei Kalim. You know, and uh, you know, and, and and that's where the Ra comes from. There's there's deficiencies in the Bria that we have to struggle against and we have to fix. And though there's seven meters that broke, so the seven weeks of the armor are connected to seven meters that fell. Right? So now, so in plan A of what was supposed to be is that we come to Matan Torah, you know, after we're attacking the seven meters, and we have complete Kalim, we have, we fixed the Kalim, and now the Torah, we have Kalim to hold. It's not Boros Nishbar Mashelo Echilo Maim. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's, we have, you know, we have Kalim to hold the, the Or Torah, and then we're fixed. We're fixed, right? You know, besod Yisrael Shom Do Ar Sinai Pascha Zuah Masan, right? We're fixed, and then what would have been next step? You go to Eretz Yisrael, which is ah, which is Eretz Shivas Ha'amamin, stated in our svarim that the Shivas Ha'amamin are connected the seven meters that need fixing. But with the conquest of Eretz Yisrael, we would fix the cosmic shemir. So first, it would be fixed in us by Matan Torah that the Torah would be chal on our all the seven meters that need fixing. Because we fix in Rimei Omer, and then we have to fix it cosmically, and that's the conquest, Kibu Sha'aretz, right? Of where conquest, you know, the Eretz Shiva Sa'amamin, that are connected to the and with that we fix it cosmically, and, and that's the Gemar, you know, and that's the Tikkun Asholim, right? And that's why, uh, that's the side of the whole world gets involved with Eretz Yisrael, because anyone who controls that, because that's point center, if you control that, that piece of land, you control the whole world. That's the central hub. All the seven, all the energies are concentrated there. And if you're, we're metakin eretz shiva samim, we're metakin the seven meters that are called teva, and we fix the whole world. All right. So that was the original plan. The first, we'd be metakin our kalim, and then be mekabel or Torah on our kalim, and then when we're kavish kivu shor eretz shiva samim, we bring the or Torah on the cosmic kalim. Done. All right. And it's only because of the failure of cheta ego. That we now need a whole other ma'arechet of Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur and the whole, you know, you, you, Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur are not from the Gimel Regalim. In any any place where it addresses the Gimel Regalim, they're, they're not mentioned. In Parshas Emor, Parshas Pinchas, it talks about all Yom Tovim they're mentioned, but in Parshas you know, Mishpatim, Kisisa, Re'e, not mentioned. They're not from the Gimel Regalim. They weren't meant to be. They're coming as a you know the patch up job because of how we failed. Right? So that's what it says in Svarim, that you know, really every year on, on, during the Yemei Omer, we have a chance to do it according to plan A, somewhat. Right? Fix your kalim now, right? And then the orator is chal on these kalim, right? And then you're moved after you're not going to sin for the rest of the year. And you don't have to worry about the din of Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, because the din of Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur is all, that's the, that's the cleanup for someone, you know, for not holding the, 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 the kochus of that tikkun. <clears throat> but but this is this or every year during these seven weeks, right? Is, is an opportunity, right? To tr- yes, go ahead. I was thinking that because um, if anything had gone plan to plan A, we would have been in Eretz Israel like with, with Moshe Rabbeinu, with Moshe Rabbeinu, but, and the das or Torah would be chal on all the seven meters, and and the whole world would have been fixed. But what about if you, the idea that everything happens for a reason, and that and, and ooh, no, no, so what I'm saying is very good. we wouldn't have had no mana, we would have had no opportunity to really put our faith in the Bitcoin and in, in Hashem because we'd have been there. Well, you know, there would have been no real we were out in the desert really saying, you know what, we've got nothing but Hakar's Boraku. And and that really instilled faith right. and trust and everything that we even have today. That was plan B. We wouldn't have needed that installation. So we wouldn't have right. needed it, really? So then... Yeah, we wouldn't have needed it. But, question, but, 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 but every year, Omer makes a comeback. Omer makes a comeback, and we have to try to fit our current situation into, into the Omer framework. Right, we have to... Right? So now, the, the Indian... Right? So now, Kayadua, in Kisve Ari, you know, the... Um, 
Uh, right. The, uh, you know, when the kalim broke, everything needs fixing. So what fell also was shin chof nitzotzis, right? 320 nitzotzis, right? Fell also, right? The, um, you know, that, that is, uh, for each one of the seven meters was, you know, it was a, it was a gam in the odom. Odom is gamacha 45. Seven times 45 is equal to 315. And then there's the five, you know, five gvuras, you know, the five, you know, there five roots of all these dinim, right? The gematria shach, you know, 320. So it's uh, Omer, if you spell it mole, ayin, vav, mem, resh, right? Plus the four letters, right, is gematria 320, right? That during the Emea Omer, we were meant to fix all the seven meters that fell and all the Nitzitzis that fell with them, right? To elevate them all, to bring them all back, right? Now, you know, so it also says in Kisvei Ari that uh, that's, that's what it says, the cover over that's much to bring back all the seven, that that's plan A, that we're going to fix all the meters and then Or Hatur, then the Kalim will be complete and the Or Hatur could fill these Kalim and first it will be us and then we conquer the world and we bring it to the rest of the world. Right? So now, you know, so make a cheshbin like this, right, that the, um, you know, that this shtay in Kisve Ari, that of, of these 320 nitzitzes, there is 288, rapach nitzutzim, 288, that we, that have already found their tikkun, right, that they're incorporated, incorporated, you know, within the setup of the world, besod v'ruach elokim, Merachefes, I'll play my mind. Merachefes, Reish Peches, is between the Oasis Mace, Merachefes, right? That these meters died, but then we have the 288 liters, Merachefes, between the Oasis Mace, Reish Peches, right? We have these, you know, the Tzitzes that are, you know, that give chias to these meters that died, that need to be, you know, brought back through our Voida, right? So out of the 320, Right, these 320 of, out of these uh, Nitzitzes have been, uh, out of the 320, 288 have been incorporated. And he says it's, you know, this is in Al Kisvei Ari, and Ramchal brings us that this is beside Havla the Garmi. Chazal tell us that when a body dies, the Or Neshama leaves. But it doesn't leave totally. It leaves behind what's called Havla the Garmi, right? The heat of the bones, right? And that's the Nitzitzes of the Neshama that's still left in the guf. And that's what keeps the guf, you know, there, that it could be reanimated by Trias HaMesim. So when the Shoma leaves, the guf doesn't leave totally, it leaves behind, right? It leaves behind Havagami, and this Havagami is Besot Ruach HaKim Mirach Hefes, Reish Peches, between the Oasis Mace, right? It gives us, you know, like, that's the Kedusha, that's with us, Ani Hashem HaShochen Itam Betoch Tumasam. Hashem is with us even when, when we're Tame, right? Even in death, right? HaKosh Baruch Gam Ki Elech, Lo Irora Ki Imadi. Those are the tzitzis that had their tikkun. Right? So so Reish Peches, what's missing from the Shin Chaf? 32. 32. And that's the side. Now, now this point, you know, this is Nari, that those 32 are the Kitzim, are the Kitzim, the thorns that we just can't fix. Those have to be weeded out. The garden rest, Yovo Bala Kerem, right? And Viakor Sakotzim and Akerem. Right? Like they told Rebbe Lezer, Rebbe Shimon, you know, let, let him take a, uproot the weeds, right? So these are the coats that need to be taken out, the 32. This is what you take. Sorry, our coach was going to have to fix those last 32, right? We can't fix them ourselves. This is the, so now, even though this part that I'm saying is my own, it's not before Shina Kisari, but I think the Kisari points us this way. The first 32 days ago, so we said, Oymers, Gematria, Shin Chaf, right? All these, that's, we're fixing everything. Right? And during the during the May Ha'omer, we spelled Mole with the four Isis, Tin Chof, the first thirty two, right? Are the, those are those are Kagan the Talmide Rabbi Akiva that couldn't be fixed. Right? The Akoshko has to fix them. Those are the first thirty two days. Those the the Lamid Bays, the Lev Ha'evan, the Lev Ha'evan. The Rebar says that Vasati Lev Ha'evan Mirkochem Vatanachem Lev Basar. Those are the first thirty two days of the Omer. Are connected these thirty two Nitzitzes that we can't fix. But Rabbi Akiva tried to fix them. Rabbi Akiva tried to fix everybody. Right? So it says, you know, it says Gemara at the end of Saita that Mishamais Rabbi Akiva bottle covered a Right? 
So Rashi explains over there, which I covered at Torah, because he was Dorish al kol kites for kites, tile v'tile tilim shalaloches, v'kal v'choymer says Rashi, she a Dorish chaser says laharos shein shum dover levatola batayra. He dash on every you know all the tagim, right kitesim, kitesim. He dash it on the kitesim, right to show and and kal v'choymer chaser shein shum dover levatola batayra. Right, Rabbi Kiva was all about right trying to show everything is connected. Everything's connected. Because that's the end of the first thirty days, oh, everything's connected. How right, when we count the Omer, uh, someone told me it's before that Rav Chaim Kenevsky gave a psak. Uh, what if a person says, Hayom, Hayom, Ash, you know, you, know, you say, Hayom, Yom, Revi'i, not Arba Yom, Hayom, Yom, Revi'i, La Omer, fourth day, Ayoyot Sarnan. Zoran told me, he said, he saw that uh, somewhere in Pesach, of Chaim Kieske, you're not Yoytze, you can count again with a bracha. You have to say, Arba Yom. In Omer, we're adding up. Mapitom. It's not fourth. It's not, we're not counting a series. We're counting, it's not a serial number. It's an amount. It's an amount. It's a schum. Right? Arba Yomim. Right? We're adding everything in. Everything in. Everything gets added. Everything gets, you know, Mitzuraf. Right? Because we come to Matan Torah, we want to bring everything. We want to bring everything. Beside Varam Zokin, Bo Bayomim. He brings all his days to our Kodesh Baruch You bring it all. Right? You know, so he's a Rechan Kesh, Psak. You say Yom Revi'i, you count again with a bracha. It's not. It's just Raya for that. What? To have a Raya? Rechan Kesh doesn't need a Raya. <laughs> Eralain is it. Eralain is the Makor. Uh, but that's the point. It's it's it, it's a total, and that's how we count. It's not chasvir. Counting up, counting up. Well, we're making, we're, we're adding it. Our boy yom. It's a tziruf. You say fourth. You say fourth. You're not yotzer. Okay. Fourth. What? <laughs> yeah. Right? The whole Indian of Rabbi Akiva. <coughs> so it's a bottle cover Torah shed because he showed she ain't shum dover levatola batera. Right? That's Lashon Rashi on bottle cover Torah. Right? That Rabbi Kiva's whole Indian show that you know everything's in, everything's apart, Every, and that's the side. You know, he was Dorish T later. I call kites the kites, right? The kitesin. He wants to save even the kitesin, even the thorns that have to be uprooted, it, right? And, and that's the Ashrecha Rabbi Kiva Shrasta Nishmascha Beechod. The difference Echod, right? Oh, now what's the between you know what's the opposite of Echod? Acher, Acher, and what's the difference in Gematria between Echod and Acher? Kites. Right? Kites. Kites and, right? and that's the site. Oh, very good. That's the state in Svarim. Kites vidardar tatsmecha. Because of the kitesim, you're going to have dardar. You mean you're going to go from dawud of echod to resh of acher. Right? Because of the kitesim. Because of the kitesim. But he was dorish al ko kites ve kites. He wanted to bring everything in. He wanted to bring everything in. Right? That ain't shum davar vato batara. And that's the end of the Emea Omer. He was. What? No, so, no, he was wrong. You could. Uh, but, and, uh, uh, me and you can't. But Rabbi Kiva tried. He tried. He tried. No, but it didn't fail because every Rotson. Every no, rutsa dough. Really every thorn. Like literally every pin and pin, you know, but it uh, means thorn. The side, the, the thorn and thistle. No, it means the, the, the right. It was Dorish al Kol, Kites for Kites, Til and Til for Alochas. He tried to save everybody. Just like in his Derech and Learning, you want to show in Shumdara Levatola Batera. Right? It's also he cosmically. Because he was the ultimate culture. Exactly. Exactly. No, I was going to get that. Because you know, that's, you know, if you think about it, Omer and Shvuas are opposites. Right? Omer is mitata le'ela. We're trying to raise ourselves up. 
Shavuos says, Vayered Hashem al Har Sinai. Hashem came down. And then that scene of the Yemei HaGbola, HaKadosh Hu says, listen, Ad Kam Tavo, you try to raise yourself up, but you stop here, and from this point onwards, Vayered Hashem al Har Sinai. Now that's just between Moshe and Rabbi Akiva. Right? Moshe brings the Torah down from Shemaim to Oretz. Right? right? Rabbi Akiva tries to raise things up. Right? So in the Oymer, we try to raise things up, and then comes the Hagbola. Stop here. Now it's time for me to bring things down. Right? Right? But Rabbi Akiva's whole Indian was to go from the Akev, Akiva, Akev, right? To raise things up from the heel. And, and, and that, that stayed in Kisve Ari, that, you know, uh, that by, already by the Chet, where it says, So who Yeshuvcha Rosh, Vata Tishufeno Akev. He says, Yaakov Avinu, also Akev, but he, what he, creamed the, the Malach of Esau, he got the name Yisrael, right? In potential, then was game Lemaisa by Betel, right? He went from Akev to being Yisrael, Li Rosh, right? Lashin Sar, Choshev, Rabbi Akiva stayed at the heels. And that's why I stayed in Kisveri, in Rabbi Akiva was Mekuyim Vata to Shufenu Akev, that Rome, it's from Edom, you know, you know, which is the nation of the Nachash, they got him, they, they killed him. Right? But Rabbi Akiva's down at the Akev, Okave is, you know, say, also says in the Jewish on uh, the Ari for Lag Bomer, Okave is two times Elohim, add Elohim plus Elohim, it's equal to Okave, right? Because he's the Shorosh of Das, you know, that, you know, is, is Chasarim and Gvors, but they're both bestowed Elohim. Two times Elohim, right, is Okave. Rabbi Kiva's at the heels, and he wants to raise the heels up, and that's what Yara pointed out. You know, he was a Baal Tshuva. He was, he raised himself up, right? Moshe Rabbeinu brought the Torah down. And that's just between Omer and Shavuos, right? Omer, right, we try to raise up the Caleb, right? Shavuos, the Ora Torah comes down. And that's the side of why we don't count the 50th day. 50th day, you know, it says, Tishpur and we only count 49, right? Because the 50th day, the opposite happens. You know, all 49 days, we're trying to, you know, build the Caleb and be, you know, close the gaps, add them up, bring them up, close ranks. Right? But on the 50th day, you, know, you don't go up. Torah comes down. Right? That's why the 50th day is not part of the Omer. It's part of the process, but it's not part of the Omer. Right? And that's the day of Moshe Rabbeinu. That comes Moshe Rabbeinu, he brings it down to Oretz. Right? You know, so but, the measures between Moshe Rabbeinu and Rabbi Kiva. Or, oh, so that's, that's the whole thing. You know, that Moshe Rabbeinu appreciates what Rabbi Kiva does. Right? That Rabbi Kiva you know, takes all these Tile Tim and he hangs them on the Kaitzin. Right? That means that you know, he, he, you know, he connects things. He connects things. And things that are seemingly extraneous, he brings them in. He brings them in. And right? he connects everything. Right? He brings everything up. He connects everything. He helps find every, the connection of everything. Now, and, and that's what it says. That the Gemara says in the Chalik, that Rabbi Akiva, when he wasn't Malamit Tzchus on the Dormibar, he said, Rabbi Akiva, Shita's Dor Midbar, they're not Omid Ladin, you know, they're not going to come Latria, you know, not, they don't get up lost in Lavo. So says Rabbi Akiva, Shavke Rabbi Akiva Le Chasiduse. Right, he has abandoned his Chasidus. So the Gemara explains there, what's his Chasidus? Because he was always Malamit Tzchus on Yidin. He was almost Malamit Tzchus, and all of a sudden he stopped. He abandoned his Chasidus. Right? Right. The Kaido, the uh, Rav Chaim Vital writes, this is between a tzaddik and a chassid, is that a tzaddik has bad meters, he's just, he's a mezgaber. A chassid has fixed all his meters. Rabbi Kiva wanted to fix everybody and fix everything. So why he stopped by Dwarm? He brought Shavke the chassiduse. Right? But he was supposed to, though, if he is, you know, his chassidus, he should have continued and been found a way to him allow mitzchus on the Dwarm, he like the other man, the Omrim. Right? <clears throat> Right? And, and that's that's the Indian that you know the uh, Omer or Chaser it also stays in Kisveri is Gematria Yakar, yeah Yakar, right dear, right now the Oisius Yakar is also Oisius Keri, right? right now what's Keri? Keri says like Chasrom Levatol, Yakar is that's dear, right? Haben Yakir Ephraim, I don't take my mind off it. It's connected. Kimi Dei Dabri Bo Zachar Es Kareno. It's a connection. Yakar is that, you know, it's chashivas. My mind is on it. Keri is that, you know, it's disconnected. Right? That's the whole union of Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Akiva is the whole union of, you know, the whole state in the whole Yakar, Rasa Eno, Zu Rabbi Akiva with Talmidav, Dvorim Shal Niglu Rabbi Akiva, Moshe Ben Niglu Rabbi Akiva Vachavera. Right? Chol Yakar Rasa Eno. Right? 
he's there, you know, that, you know, the opposite of Kelly. To find everything should be dear, everything should be connected, everything should be kill levatolo, right? The hepa. And that's the covenant Torah of Rabbi Akiva. So that's the thing of Rabbi Akiva is, uh, the, uh, is that the Yemea Omar are connected Rabbi Akiva, trying to find, you know, he's tried to connect everything. And when he sees something bad, so the other Chachomim, they, you know, they cry and he laughs. You know, and he asks, why are you laughing? He says, why are you crying? Now, what do you mean? Imlover, Tzono Kach, Kach, Lo, Yo, Lo, Seir, Tzono, Achas, Kam, Vakama. Or, Tolo, Nevoso, Sha'uria, Bischaria. Right? And, actually, Skaima, Uria, the Nevo of this one, you can't have a cute. He always sees how everything is Mitztaref, Latayva. And that's the end of the Yemea Omer, right? Of raising things up, raising things up, right? In preparation being with Kabbalah or Torah, right? Bringing things up from the okay. Right? And, and that's why the Torah Shabbat Peh that we have, right, that he gave us, all his Talmudim, Rosh Hashanah gave us, right, is beside, you know, that will last, you know, until Seif Adaris, right? And that's, <laughs> and that's the Lush of Chazal, that, uh, that Rosh Hashanah asked, what are the Kaitzim for? What are the Kaitzim for? She always said, Besoif Kamadaris, Lush of Besoif Kamadaris, at the end, right? And the end of Doris is called Ikvisa the Meshicha. And that's what Rabbi Kiva is there for. Rabbi Kiva is there beside the Omer to connect everything, bring everything up, keep even the last and the bottom thing connected. Right? Right? So now, so listen to this. So it says in the Kisfei Ari like this, that the, uh, that, you know, the, the days of the Omer Yemeadin, and, you know, and Yemeadin is a time of, you know, a pilpul, you know, and, uh, you know, you know, uh, you know, you know, we say, Im kabo in the kabo, vim ledin yesh tshuva. Right? Pilpul is called din. Right? And that's your know, Kiva is like a you know, master of that. Because he's mamish there as a countermeasure to all the dinim, the dinim takifim that there are. Right? And, and, you know, and yemei omer, yemei a dinim. Because on, on Pesach, we got a freebie. We got a freebie. You know, even though halal, they have the zar, halal, they have the zar. Right? Of course, we took us out anyway. And the Shvi show Pesach, that's in Yemea Omer, so it was a Kitruk, you know, by the, by the Yam. Why was there a Kitruk on the first day? First day of Pesach is a freebie. You know, we start counting Mimachras of Shabbos. The next day, now we're on. Now, right, exactly, correct, correct. Now, it was a freebie. It was a freebie. Yemea Omer starts with Mimachras of Shabbos, that's why by Shvi Shabbos, that's with Yemea Omer, you know, it was a Kitruk. Hello, there was our, hello, there was our. Right? So that the, the Yemei Omer are, are his man of Din, which is the shame Elokim. So it says in Kisferi, in all the Nusra Nuschos, that uh, on Lag Ba'omer, the Tziruf changes. Right? That, you know, you have the word Elokim, right? Which is Aleph Lamed Hey Yud Mem. So leave the first letter and the last letter intact, Aleph and Mem. The three middle letters shift. Right? The Lamed becomes, everything shifts up to one letter before. The Lamed becomes a Chaf, right? right? The He becomes a Dalit, and you becomes a Tes. These three letters, right? You know, uh, the, um, uh, the, the, um, <clears throat> the Chaf, the Dalit, and the Tes, Gematria Lag, 33. 33. Right? I'm sorry, Is that correct? Chaf, Dalit, and Tes, 33. Right? 33. Right? And then with the Aleph and the Mem that we left intact, Gematria Ayin Dalit, 74. And he says, beside Gal Aid. Gal Aid. Right? You know, the, the middle letter is shifted to become Gamatria Gal. And then the whole thing together now is Gamatria Aid, Gal Aid. And he says, and, and this, this is the famous Ari, this is the Makorni Ari that the Gal that Yaakov made between him and Lavan is, 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 a, is a remis to Lag Baomer, the Gal Aid. As, as it's so to say, the Gal, the Oasis M. Tsaios. Right? And, you know, but you take the beginning and the end, right? It's Gematria 8. Right? So, so it says in Kisveyari, right, that aid is Bina. Right? Because these days now are going to take us all the way to Bina, which is the 50th, Nun Share Bina, and that's Shavuos. Shavuos, we break out of the Midas. Mida is Gematria 49. Mem Dalit Hey. On, on, you know, we reach Bina. We break out of Midas. Now we're in Moichin. Now we're in intelligence. We're out of Midas, right? We fixed all the Midas. Right? The middle letters... You know, it's Gematria Lamed Gimel. So what's, what's the Indian? Right? So aside the fact that he says that once you shift the letters, it turns from Din to Rachamin. Right? But you know, it, becomes, you know, it becomes Gal and Gal and Aid. Right? Gal is the middle letters, and then the whole Gematria is Aid. Gal Aid. Right? And what does that to do with the, uh, the wall that you know, Yaakov built between him and Lover? Right? So 
what did Yaakov say to Lavan? We don't pass. This is the border between us. We don't pass Lera. So Rav Zevin makes the idea that Lera we don't pass, but we do pass Lataiva. Right? We're allowed to, let's say, import or export. We're allowed to do commerce, let's say. No, as, you know, as, a, as an example. Right? But what, what it means, you know, Legabenu, right, is that you know, the, um, on this day, you know, the Dinim Takifim, of the first 32 days, these are the kitzen that we can't fix, or we keep a try to fix. And we're meant to try to fix, even if we can't succeed. But on this day, it shifts, and it goes you know, from dinim to rachamim. And that's why you take the whole thing, the gematria of the whole thing, you know, the gal and the eid, you know, the, uh, the middle letters that shift it, and then the two letters that are on the extremes we refer, referring to where the omer starts and where the omer ends. That means that the middle point, the middle point is the connector, is the connector, right? We don't, there's a barrier between the dinim koshim and how things got more lax, right? That now the talmidim of Rabbi Akiva could survive from this point and onwards. Now he could start again. It's called the dinim got sweetened from this point and onwards, right? But that gal is only, we only separate the two phases, l'ra. But l'toiva, yeah. Because how, how do we count the yom? We, you know, we say, yom shlosh, shalosh v'shlosh, yom. We count all the days together. <laughs> l'toiva, it is mitztarif. You know, the, we, we want, hare, we want to fix everything. We want to fix everything. We want to pull everything together. So now, you know, we, uh, we're going full circle now. I, I, uh, I mentioned uh, in the past, and uh, I, put, I put in last week's parsha sheet, right, what I heard from my Rebbe Moshe Shapiro. They told us in Shir once that he was, you know, he was moida, you know, hodaz baldin, unless it's in the Mesim Atzma Russia, I don't know. Okay? So he was reading Hatzofe. You know what Hatzofe is? Mizrahi paper. Mizrahi paper. He was reading Hatzofe many years ago, many, many years ago. And I heard this a long time ago. He said it was many years before that. He was reading Hatzofe. And then he turned to some Rebbe, some guy, Steinberger, who's a Rebbe in a Yeshiva at Akoto. He said, En kaze Mizrachistim ayom. Right? He says, you know, it's a, I'm all the Mizrachistim. He's trying to justify. He read it, you know. Yeah, that, uh, that he, that in the Hatzofer, they also had the back of any newspaper, they had classifieds. Right? And he read, I don't know, he's reading the classifieds. It was a big, you know, letter, Hashav HaSaveda. Right? Hashav HaSaveda. So he reads the, you know, reads in the box, and the person who's the Bala Veda, tells his story. Now, I guess this must have been, you know, in the early years of, you know, the Medina, and the person says, you know, I'm a European, I'm a Davinsker, I was by the Rogat Shover on Lag Bomer, right? and I asked the Rogat Shover, what is the Eden of Lag Bomer? And the Rogat Shover showed me, demonstrated from a Yerushalmi, that the Aliyah Larego for Shavuos start on Lag Bomer. He proved it to be from Yerushalmi, and I was so nishtomen from the Gonser Rogacha, I didn't pay attention to where Yerushalmi is. Does anyone know where this Yerushalmi is? Right? And he turned to this guy, right? 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 The, uh, so Ramosh himself did not know where Yerushalmi is, but he told us the story. You know, does anyone, first was, you know, Hashal Savez, does anyone know? That's what he lost. He lost his Yerushalmi. Does anyone know where this Yerushalmi is? Right? That the Pshar is that in Lag Bomer, you start feeling the aura of Shvuas. So, like we explained, the aura of Shvuas is the Hefech of the Koch of the Omer. Koch of the Omer, which is Dinim, Takifim, is to, to you know, go against the Ra, try to contend with it, try to subdue with it, and try to save whatever you can save. So, it's Mitata Leila. Shvuas is Me'ela Latata. Moshe Kibbal Tarmi Sinai brings it down from Shemaim to Aretz, right? So, on, on Lag Omer is the bridge between the two. Right? You feel the influence of Shuas, which is mitata le'ela, I mean, mi'ela le'tata, and it's also during Yemei Omer where it's mitata le'ela. Right? The two meet and log be'omer. Right? The koach of the Omer and the koach of Shuas meet there. Right? And that's the end of Rav Shem Bar-Yuchai. The state, you know, it says in the Ramchal, in the Adir Ba'morom, the Pasuk says, Alisa Morom, Shavisa Shevi, Lekachach Matanos Ba'odom. It's a pasuk in Tehillim that Chazal, I believe Tehillim, and Chazal Darshan of Moshe Rabbeinu, Olisa Moram, Lakachs Matanos Ba'odam. So in the Gemara, Darshan Shavisa Shevi is that you were able to answer all the tainus of the Malachim. Lakachs Matanos Ba'odam. After that, all the Malachim all gave Moshe Rabbeinu a side, and even the Malachimos gave him sign to him that the Ketores stops the Magefa, and that's how Moshe Rabbeinu knew how to instruct Aaron to bring Ketores to stop the Magefa by Korach. 
right? right? So that's Lakachas Matas Bar. What's Shavisa Shevi? Right? So you would think it just means he knew how to answer them up, right? So it says in Ramchal, in the Adi Bamar, Shavisa Shevi is, Shevi is Rashi Tos, Shimon Bar Yochai. When Moshe Rabbeinu, and he says this, when Moshe Rabbeinu went to Shemaim, what he captured from them was Rosh Hashim Bar Yochai. What's that? What's, what's, what's that Shevi? Right? A Matona, right? The Nosen gives it to the Makabo. So there's the up and there's the down, the, maca- the Nosen on top, the Makabo on the bottom, and there's a flow of energy. It goes from top to bottom. Shevi is that something that belongs on top, has been captured and has been taken, taken down. You took captives. Something that belongs belongs at the, you change the seder of things. Something that belongs on top has been, you know, has been captured and been brought down. Roshim Bai is this Indian. Right? Rabbi Kiva tries to, you know, strive up and that's why he wanted, you know, in, in, in his in his in his upward mobility, he said Mosayova Larry Kaima when he finally had was Zohar to be Moisa Nefesh and the Daya Kirsh Hashem, right? You know, call your mind starty and I was just waiting for this moment. Just waiting. He just wants to go from bottom up. Right? Moshe Rabbeinu goes you know, top down. He brings Torah Lauritz. Hushim Bayachai, during the Yemei Omer, he is the bridge between the two. Right? Because Hushim Bayachai made the Zohar on earth, but he got all the Neshamas of the Tzadikim and Eliyahu Navi to come and be Mishtatif with him in making the Chibur. And that's the Dafka, Chibur Daika. Right? He made a Chibur of, you know, of Sisrei Torah, and he got the El Yonati Mishtatif with him, that the Nishamas said Sadiqim, Raya Mahindar, Moshe Rabbeinu revealed himself to them in the Chabur Rajbi. El Yonavi came, right, and they, they made, you know, in the Idra, they opened up, you know, a Pesach that the Abir of God Eden should be there on earth. He synthesized the two, right? Mitata Ela and Ela Latata. It's where the two universes meet, right? You know, what he was Zohar to, you know, in his base Medrash, right? And, 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 and that, that comes as, as a continuation of his being a Talmud of Rabbi Akiva. That he says, right? He went to, it's also stated in Kisvei Ari, and it's also written in the Ramchal, in the Adir Bamaram. He went, he ran away to the Ma'ora. He ran away because of Rome. Right? And in the Ma'ora, what did he eat? He ate Charuvim. He ate Charuvim. Miloshan Chorben. He went, Arayim, right, into the depth of the Chorben, Right? Harun, Lashon, Chorban. And he tried to find Koach, bring Koach there. Bring Koach even there. Right? Bring Koach even over there. And that's what the Ramchal says. Ramchal says that the Sefer Azor, he did not seal it in his days. As we know, everyone you know, raises the question there's names of Amoroim there, there's names of even later Doris. He didn't seal the Zor. It was supposed to be a process for the Dorim Basroim. Right? They're supposed to give chizuk to all the later generations. That's why it's always re- revealed in the later generations that you know he wanted to finish where Rabbi Kiva started, right? To go into the Chorben, uh, into the Chorben, and bring the ore of Torah there. And some and sometimes you need the biggest ore. You need the biggest ore for the biggest darkness. You know, and the darkness is very big. You know, connect as a counter. You need the biggest ore to confront the biggest darkness, right? And that's what Shimon Bar Yochai wanted to do. Right? He wanted to come and bring the ore within the darkness. And right? it says, and Ramchal writes this, that the Sefer Zohar is beside Teva. It's Mamish and Ark. Right? Against the Mayim Azaydonim, right? you open up some pure space, a protective perimeter, and when, you know, when, the, when the adversity around you is so strong, you need as a countermeasure the biggest ore connected the strongest Chayshech. Right? And it's Mamish meant to be Lador and Basroin for the end of generations. What, for ikvah sada mashiach, for those who are at the end, who are at the bottom, right? And that's saying that Rav Shimon Bar Yochai finished work not not on Shavuos during Yemei Omer, in the depth of it. In the, that the pshat is that he is going to succeed and he's going to finish where Rabbi Akiva started. He's going to finish where Rabbi Akiva started. And with this, we understand, right, that there's no steer in the words of the Ari. The one hand, he's from the Tamim that endured, but on the other hand, he himself died in Yemei Omer because Mitel made Rav Akiva shemesu be Yemei Omer. Right? That the Pshad is Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai is coming to make that bridge. And if you ask, yo, what does Kabbalah teach us that you don't have in Pshat? What is the one Yisod, the big Yisod, right? That there is in Kabbalah, that there is in Pshat, right? How the Ra is also a chelik of the Tov. And how the Ra is Meshamish the Tov, right? That, there are, that, that is the one thing that Kabbalah explains that Halacha can't. Because Halacha explains oh, the, the, the Tov is something you should do, the Ra is something to be rejected. In Kabbalah is where you can understand how even the Ra is Meshamish Latov. 
right? how it's all there, you know, everything's in service of the good. That's what Chochmah Semes teaches. Right? And that's what Shem Bar Chai did. Right? And, and that's a Dover Niflamo, that his, this day is Hoyt Shebehoyt. Right? So now, Kayadua from tomorrow and onwards, which fits with the Minigas Farim, that they stop the Avelis, they, they take their haircuts on Lamed Dalet Bo'emer, Right? Yeah, yeah. From tomorrow and on, no, did not mean today, on Kansas Day, it's like Bomer, you know, from Lama Dal Bomer and onwards. Something interesting to see in the Midas is that it's Yisot Chibahod, and as my Rebbe Rachel Lansky pointed out, from that point onwards, it's only Klolim, no Protin. Yisot Chibahod, Machus Chibahod, and then it's Bechal Yisot and Machus, which are Klolim. Because until Hai Chibahod, it's Protin, Lo Nagu Kavad Laza, they weren't getting together. They weren't getting together, right? They were and, and from and from the day after Lag Bomber, it's there's togetherness. There's togetherness. It's all clothing. There's no pratim anymore. It's either Yisod and Malchus from that point onwards and all the permutations. Right? But 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 here's the Kasha. It's the end of the Pratim. It's still the Pratim. Details. It's not the clothing yet. Where you know, where everyone's getting together, right, with the or of the Achtus, right? That starts from Lamadal Bomer. No, but Rabbi Shem Barachai dies on Hoyt Shebehoyt. Because the Peshat is that all those guys, all those Kaitzim who were separate, and they were low nog covers, and they were pure, they have to be saved also. They have to be saved also. That, that Yom Lamed Gimel is that, uh, that Rabbi, that Rabbi Shem Barachai died, finished his work on that day, right? To be the connector, to be the connector between the 32 that, that couldn't be saved in those days, Right and and Hala, which could be saved, he wants to be the connector, right? That his koch is to make the connection that they should he should finish what Rabbi Kiva started. That they should be saved also. That all the midas and all the koiches, all the tzitzis, everything should come together and be nichlal, you know, and be nichlal in or hatayra. And Chochmah Sakabal explains how even the worst things are all letoiv and they're all part of the grand master plan. That's what Shimon Bar Yochai wanted. Right, so that's why he died in Yemei Omer, like the other Talmudim that died. And yet he's from those who endured, because he wants to make the bridge. And he wants to close the gap. Right? He wants to make the chibur between the 32 right, and those who are saved on this 33rd day. On this wall, that it's only a wall, Lera, but Latoiva, it's an open border. Right? To bring, the, bring it all together. Right, to be metakin. And that's what it is, that he died on this day, but he stresses. Right? He stresses. That I'm not going be greusa I'm not going be to be to the next world. A person who dies be to chisarn, that his neshama just had enough of him and is leaving, right? That's bad, right? You know, so I'm not. That's why he darshan on the day of his death. He darshan to show he's going be to mal yusa. He's progressing. He's going from the sitra of misa to chayim, and that's this day is chay er, orach chay says the maral orach chay who zochet to orach yomim bimina. They were on the first 32 days, Gemachia covered their Nitvan, Lo Nogu Kovazet, it's Orech, Bismola Osher Bekovod. On this day, we move to Orechai, but he wants to go on this day to Orechai. He wants to schlep all those that were left behind. He wants to incorporate them and bring the Sitra of Moves to Chaim. And that's when he opens up his Drosha. His last Drosha says, Drosha is Lo HaMesim Yahaluka. Lo HaMesim Yahaluka. And the last word they said was Chaim. Right? That he wants to save all those that were thought they're dead and unsavable. He wants to bring them together. And that's why it's in the empts of the Yemei Omer, between the Dinim Koshim and the Dinim Rafim, that everyone should be saved. That everything should be Nichlo and Machu Shemaim. That, that Rav Shirin Bar Yochai was in the empts of Yemei Omer, actualized and finishes the Avod of Rabbi Akiva. L'chaim.